Hey guys, so for today's video, it's mainly for educational purposes and do everything at your own risk. Now, the first thing you need is a tweezer like this, preferably a large tweezer. You don't want to use a short tweezer because a short tweezer might risk, you know, yourself getting stung by a scorpion. You want to grab it by its tail like that and place it on a surface or on your hand that you want to handle it on. When it comes to handling scorpions, there are a few things we should take note of, and the first one is we shouldn't be provoking the scorpion uh, anyhow. And basically, when you want to get the scorpion to another surface or your other hand, you want to twist your hand like so, gently and slowly. Now sometimes scorpions curl up their tail and that's very normal and some scorpions like this one allows you to brush the tail down with your hand but usually this should be done with the tweezer and I'm only demonstrating this with my hand just to show you guys how docile some scorpions can be. Now the same species of scorpion can have different levels of temper. This one seems to be a little more on the sensitive side so we're gonna have to handle it with extra care. Now, as you can see, the tail is very high up. It seems to be in a threat posture, so it's okay to brush its tail down lightly with a tweezer, but honestly, nothing much will change. The only thing that can affect its temper or calm the scorpion down is through time, right? The longer you place the scorpion on your hand, the more it calms down eventually. Now, if you find it difficult to grab it up by its tail and place it back into the enclosure, this is when we have to twist our hand and use the other method or the other approach. And there we go. Now when you grab them by the tail and they give you this sort of fidgety or uh, defensive reaction, it's very normal. And if they don't seem to be in a mood to be handled, very simply just place them back. Here is a compilation of the different species I am handling, however there are some species we have to be aware of we shouldn't be handling, and we should not be promoting the handling of such species, such as the Deathstalker Scorpion or the Fat Tail Scorpion. These scorpions tend to be more potent in venom, and they tend to be more deadly, and so I don't recommend handling any of those species, however some people still do so. I'd say, you know, before you handle your scorpion, it's better to fact check it's better to understand how deadly or, you know, what the temper of your scorpion is like before you actually handle it. I'd like to also thank all the supporters out there who have given me such a, a big support in my last video. It's been alright in the last video. The last video was uh, a comparison video between Gigantometris Swamadami and Gigantometris Titanicus. Now if you haven't checked out that video already, I recommend you to just go into my channel and look at the previous video that I've just uploaded. It's a pretty interesting video, but anyway, thank you guys again. I'll see you guys in the next episode.